Okay, so we'll continue our discussion with lesson 4 of uh, engineering statistics, the cumulative distribution function of a continuous uh, random uh, distribution. So for the cumulative distribution function of a continuous random variable x, it is defined as uh, f of x, capital F of x, where this is the probability of x less than or equal to x, which is the integration of your f of u du integrating from negative infinity to the value of x, meaning just the sum of the value until the value of x, x from the negative infinity. So the cumulative definition at the cumulative distribution function is defined for all real number. So let's have this example. Yung electric current natin originally. For the copper wire, the current uh, measurement in exercise 4.1. So, uh, the cumulative distri distribution function consists of three expressions. So, tingnan natin ulit yung sa copper wire 4.1. So, ang f of x natin dito is 5 and this is defined at 4.9 to 5.1. So, meaning yung f of x uh, natin when x is less than uh, 4.9 and is 0 and when x is greater than 5.1 0 din siya. But pag in-integrate mo, kinuha mo yung integration for the first part. Yung integration ng first part ay 0 and yung integration ng dulo, kasi this will be the sum from negative infinity to uh, greater than x, greater than 5.1. So, meaning 1 na siya total. So, ang kailangan lang natin kunin yung nasa gitna. Balik tayo dun sa uh, example. So, we have uh, f of x as uh, 5 and this is defined from 4.9 to uh, 5.1. So, we define that f of x is, uh, yung value niya is 0 when x is less than uh, 4.9. Pwede ding equal kasi pag-integration naman ng 0 pa din yun. And when x is greater than or equal to 5.1, this is 1.0. Because total of the integration is 1.0. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin, ano yung value when x is between 4.9 to 5.1. Okay, let's use the black ink here. So, gamitin ko lang yung white. So, um, ang i-integrate natin ngayon for that range is equal to the integration of 4.9 to x f of x dx. And we know that f of x is 5. So this is integration or 4.9 x 5 dx. x So pag integrate natin, that will be 5 x evaluated from 4.9 to x. So, by evaluation, this is 5x minus 5 times 4.9. So, the value will be 5x minus 5 times 4.9 will be 24.5 yung value. So, wait tayo dito. So, I'll just clear this ink. And from this one, you know that the uh, value for the f of x capital, for the uh, cumulative distribution function of the current measurement is 5x minus 24.5 from uh, 4.9 to 5.1. So, pag tinignan nyo siya sa uh, graphical representation, ito siya. So, when the value is less than 0, 0 yung value. 
when the value is between uh, malito. Mali, dapat ito ay 4.9 at saka ito ay 5.1. So, the value pag 4.9 pababa, 0. Pag uh, 4.9 to 5.1, it will follow this linear regret, uh, linear function, which is 5x minus 24.5. And beyond 5.1, that value will be equal to 1. Okay? So, basically, if we determine the uh, f of x or the uh, density function, uh, density, cumulative density function, uh, the, the density function of your uh, continuous random variable, this is just the derivative of your f of x. Tingnan natin. So, uh, for example, the time unit a chemical reaction is complete in uh, millisecond, ms is approximately by uh, this distribution function. So, to get the probability density function, so, a derivative nyo lang, derivative nyo lang yung function nyo with respect to x. Okay? Ito yan. So, ano yung derivative ng 0? 0 pa din siya. But, the derivative of this, so, pag kinuha mo yung derivative nyan, so, 0 to, tapos negative, e raised to pareho, tapos times negative 0 0.001, kaya magiging positive siya. So, that's the, the probability density function. So, what proportion of the reaction is complete within 200 millisecond? Pag, pag cumulative, this is for cumulative, proportion na siya, so probability. Ang gagamitin nyo na ay yung uh, cumulative distribution function. So, I substitute nyo lang yung 200 doon. So, that will be 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.01 times 200. So, ang value nito will be 1 minus uh, alpha ng e raised to negative 0 0.01 times 200. So, ang sagot ay 0 0.8647. Okay? Yan natin kung tama. 0 0.8647. So, substitute nyo lang dun sa uh, cumulative distribution function. So, let's have the mean and the variance. So, for the mean and, and the variance, the same lang din siya ng... Uh, sa discrete random variable x times f of x but for this case hindi na siya yung summation it's the integration kasi uh, ano siya uh, continuous so yung function niya hindi yung sum lang ng lahat but the sum from negative infinity to the positive infinity value so this is just your integration so that's for the mean value for the variance naman or your sigma squared, this is just yung difference ng x minus mean squared times f of x dx. So, pareho lang yung formula, nagkaroon lang ng dx. And instead of summation, integration siya from negative infinity to infinity. You can utilize this formula as uh, the value if you, you already uh, know the, the integration. Okay? So, the standard deviation of x is the sigma, which is equal to the square root ng variance. Okay, so let's have this one. For the copper wire, the current measurement for the PDF is f of x from 0 0.05 for x is 0 to 20, find the mean variance. And mean and the variance. So, for the mean, this is equal to e of x which is equal to the integration ng, uh, kasi ito lang yung function, so 0 to 20 lang siya. Tama? Uh, x times your f of x, which is 0 0.05 dx. Okay? So, pwede itong direkta sa calculator. So, puntutay nyo lang. So, definite integral ng calculator, alpha ng x times 0 0.05 integrate from 0 to 20. So, ito siya. Hmm, kung malinaw sa inyo, integration ng x times 0.05 dx from 0 to 20. 
Pag kinuha nyo yung integration 10, yung sagot. So, this is 10. For the variance, sigma, so P of X, so this is integral ng uh, X minus mu, diba? 20 squared times 0 0.05, yung F of X, DX, from 0 to 20. So, kaya din siya sa calculator. So, integral ng uh, alpha ng x minus uh, 10 pa na to, hindi 20. 10 minus 10 quantity squared times 0 0.05. So, para tama, lagyan nyo na lang ng parenthesis pa from 0 to 20. So, yung integration, sige, para makita nyo. So, ito siya. And, ito siya. So, integration from 0 to 20, x minus 10 squared times uh, 0 0.05. Okay. So, minigay ko. Nilagyan ko lang ng parenthesis. Then, pag in-equal nyo, ito yung sagot, 100 over 3 or 33.32. So, this is 33.32. So, that is the variance. Okay? Okay, yan yung sagot. So, burahin ko lang para makita nyo. So, tama yung sagot natin, 10, tsaka 33.33. Now, if uh, we want to know the expected value for uh, h of x, and h of x will be the new function. So, this will be the integration from negative infinity to infinity. Uh, h of x, di ba kanina, x lang to. Then, f of x, dx. So, let's have this example. Let x be the current measurement in milliampere. The PDF is f of x equals 0 0.054. x is uh, ranging from 0 to 20. What is the expected value of power when the resistance is 100 ohm? Use the result that power is in what? T is equal to 100 negative 6 r I squared, where I is the current in milliamperes and I is the resistance. And the value of X is, the value of H of X is 10 to the negative 6 times 100 X squared. So this is uh, 10 to the negative 4 X squared. So the expected value of H of X is the integration of H of X, so 10 to the negative 4 x squared dx from 0 to 20. So, this will be equal to the integration of uh, 10 raised to negative 4 alpha ng x squared from 0 to 20. So, pag in-integrate mo, this will be 0 0.00 0, uh, point 2667. So, ito yung value niya. Okay? Marina. So, you just uh, apply yung h of x dun sa function. So, ito na siya. Sama siya. Lumabas lang yung constant. Okay? Susundan.